everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm sure that a lot of you watching this video are probably parents, but for those of you who are not, just imagine for a minute that you are. Imagine you have a son or a daughter, a child that you've sacrificed an immeasurable portion of your life for from all the love, time, energy, and money you've dedicated to their well-being, raising them with the best life that you can possibly offer, providing them with a house, clothes, food, entertainment, education, healthcare, and so on. But then all of this winds up in you one day witnessing them exposing your private conversations publicly online and denouncing you as a terrible person. I literally hate my family so much. It's just... They just try to argue with me that George Floyd deserve like, they're just trying to tell me that, like, he, he deserved that because he did something wrong and that it was okay. That is not okay. And it's just making me so upset. I don't know why. I do not want to live here. I, didn't, I hate living in Louisiana. I hate living around these racist fucks. Like, I just want to leave. To be fair, some people likely have parents who genuinely do say horrible stuff. I am not denying that this happens. However, there are some lines that just shouldn't be crossed. You can disagree with your parents, siblings, or whoever all you want on political and social issues, but this should be done in private. If you really can't stomach living around them and, and you know, in close proximity to their beliefs, then simply wait until you're old enough and can afford it and then move out. But talking about familial disputes online can bring untold damage to your parents and family overall due to the fact that cancel culture has become so prominent and hostile. As we've witnessed countless times, there are severe consequences to being the target of an online mob. Personally, whenever I see these videos of young people exposing their parents online, I'm really not that surprised. Young people, particularly teenagers, they often go through a rebellious phase. What I find to be way more disturbing is the fact that so many people uphold these public denunciations as a positive thing, something to celebrate and revel in. This trend of teenagers publicly denouncing their parents is actually more common than you might think. There have been thousands of young people shaming their parents on social media platforms like TikTok over their parents' opposition to Black Lives Matter, their support of President Trump, or simply having political and social disagreements in general. We've also seen this trend extend to the lockdown. For example, example, people filming and berating each other for not wearing a mask, or people tattling on their neighbors to law enforcement for not properly social distancing. This culture of denouncement is by no means a new phenomenon. It occurred, for example, during China's Cultural Revolution, in which 36 million people were hounded, and perhaps a million died in the turmoil unleashed by Mao Zedong in 1966. They were condemned by their political views and social background, or someone's whim, enmity, or attempt at self-preservation through incriminating others. It also occurred in the Soviet Union. In Stalin's Russia, everyone was an informer. Neighbors, friends, even your closest loved ones. Every apartment block, every village, every collective, every factory had its core of official informers who, to justify their existence and often to survive themselves, needed a steady flow of denunciations. Naturally, the current consequences of being denounced aren't remotely comparable to that which people faced in China and Russia. People aren't killed or imprisoned, they are shamed by thousands on social media, even millions, and as a result, they their reputations are destroyed, their social standing is lost, and many often lose their careers as well. However, despite the punishment not being comparable, what is comparable is that publicly denouncing others is met with praise and social acceptance. This is not, in my opinion, a sign of a healthy society. Familial bonds should run far deeper than politics. And I know that for many families, of course, the bonds do run much deeper, but as the political divide widens and escalates, we're seeing more and more families break apart. And I would simply say that I really don't think it's worth it. Some people might disagree, which they have every right to do. Those who want to can go right ahead and stop talking to their parents and siblings over politics. But what's never justifiable is to publicly expose and denounce them. And unless we start severely criticizing those who do so, I'm concerned that it's going to get a lot worse. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. If you'd like to follow me on some alternative platforms, there's links to Telegram, Instagram, BitChute, and others in the description of this video and in the pinned comment as well. So you can just check there. I really hope that you guys enjoyed and I'll see you all soon.